there, my name is Jamie and I'm from Taylor's and today we're going to look at a great way to make a really good cafetiere. So first of all, we're going to take our cafetiere, just going to give that a quick rinse, just swirl that out just to make sure we've got a completely clean cafetiere. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to weigh out the coffee. Easiest way to do this is put the cafetiere on your scales. And what we generally say is 60 grams to about a litre of water. This cafetiere is going to be about three quarters of a litre, 750 mil. So we're going to put 45 grams of coffee in. So there's 45 grams there. However, if you do want to use a spoon, what you can actually do is you can weigh out how much your spoon is actually going to hold. I know this one's 10 grams, so I'd need four and a half of those into the cafetiere. It's another easy way of doing it. Going to then get the water, and this is 750 mil of water we're going to put in. What we're actually going to do is we're going to stir the cafetiere just after the water's been put in, just to agitate the coffee grounds and give it a better brewing flavour. What I'm going to do is count up the timer as well to four minutes. That's the optimum brewing time. One thing to remember, if you want it to be a stronger cup of coffee, it's always best to add a little bit more of the actual ground product rather than leaving it longer than the four minutes. Any longer than that, the grounds are going to start getting a bit bitter, not going to taste very nice. If you want in a stronger cup of coffee, put in an extra 10 grams, 15 grams. Okay, so we're just coming up to four minutes there. Now what we can do is push the plunger down. And it should be really easy to push the plunger down. Any resistance, it's not quite ready. So we'll just slowly push that down, nice and easy. So what we're going to do now is serve that in a cup. Okay, so what we've got there is our really great, simple cafetiere coffee. We've got the whole cafetiere there, keeping it warm as well that we can keep using. If you want to uh, see how to make really great coffee, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I'd like to thank you for watching today.